Hey everybody, Blue Chapman here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time we left off, uh, I do believe we defeated that main trick, finally. That was exhausting. And we learned a little bit more about ourselves. And also, we were slightly suspicious of Dust Noir because he smiled. Creepy. And in this episode, I believe we are going to capture the heinous, menacing, evil thief, grow violence, stole the time gears, stole, stole the time gears, sorry. I can't speak today. And yeah, we're going to gear up at the Kecleon shop, see what they have in office, see what could be useful to us, as well as while well, I try to remember how to play the game, because it's been ages since I've played. Yay. It's a, this series has been going on for three years, and I'm on episode 21. It shows how reliable I am with making episodes. Haha. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, we're poor. Pulse swipe is pretty good, though, I've got to say. That's not the Anyway, um... <laughs> anything we actually need? What's our inventory looking like? Uh, just bits and bobs. Uh, da da da. I'm not seeing anything we... That all seems fine to me. I think we're more or less prepared. Have a quick look at what, uh, old canyon gone here has for us. <clears throat> Sorry if it sounds a bit weird, my nose is acting up today, it's really annoying. Uh, a couple of TMs, I don't really need Focus Punch, Stamina Band, eh, not really. No, I say we are more or less good. Um, oh yeah, I completely glossed over that Marip uh, in my party last episode, up oh, thick too. I don't even remember why I called it that. Okay, good to know Dust. Dust Noir is happy to help. Suspiciously happy to help. Um, how much money do we have in the bank? Not a lot, actually. Let's store this a little extra. Every little helps and whatnot. But yeah, I don't think we really need anything here. So... I'm just gonna quickly organize my team. Let's see... Because I forget who we actually have. I don't particularly want thick two here. Let's put you on standby. You were literally just a one-time thing to help me get through that dungeon. So we have a oh, nose. Oh, oh, had like a a weird sneeze coming on that didn't want to come out. So the polar the duo will spin around thick and thick two, <laughs> and smiles the whooper. Um, let me think then actually. Uh, I don't know where we'll be going next, so I don't know what will be useful. So, go do well, you, you're always a reliable-ish um, Pokemon. Uh, the nice low level of 15 while I'm at level 24, Pikachu's at 24, and Beedra's at 18. Lovely. Uh, oh, let's... Actually, before we set off, I know it's going to be lots of preparing and whatnot. Let's have a look and uh, spin this cafe, see what we can make. <laughs> Also, sorry if I'm sniffing. I always sniff when I record and it's disgusting because you just hear <laughs> that's something disgusting as well. So I'll try to edit them out, but no promises. Um White Gummy, that is for ice types? Nope! Favoured by ice types, I believe. Orange gummy is favoured by fighting? Yes, fighting. Um I'm just double check that white gummy, make sure I'm right there. Oh, normal types, okay. Oh! Do do them. You're normal and flying. Drink up. Just jam into the music right now. Oh, back out. Oh, I'll sit down. It would not be a blue drabbage video of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, I'm skipping ahead of the text boxes. Oh, well, you can read yourselves. It would not be one of my videos. I did not get interrupted. Some menial reason during a recording session. And I simply can't help that. So I just have to put up with it and try and edit it out as best I can. And that audio probably sounded awful because no one in my microphone. Oh well, doesn't matter. No one watches this stuff anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> um yes, screw it. We're just gonna continue on with the adventure. Oh, Jesus. I have not got the um the Rona. I just have a sniffy nose because I think hay fever's kicking in me, uh, kicking in me? Yes, it is kicking in me boot. Ah, coffee. So yeah, 
and if I sound a bit nasally, it's all because of hay fever. I always get it. Anyway, I'll shut up now and uh, let these people speak. Now I see everybody's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying. Grow Vile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question, but we have no answers. And therefore, we have relied upon the Great Dust Noir for ideas. Together, we have identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask everybody to split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, larger than Corfish, I'm assigning you to the eastern forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it. Hey, hey, you will do our best. Next, Spadoof, Ductrio, and Sunflora, we'd like you to search the Crystal Cave. Yum, yum, we all know. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Trapinch and Pikachu, you two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map. Okay. See, this area. The area on the map is obscured by clouds. But the dry terrain starts in the area here. That is why it's rumored that the vast desert extends from that point onward. We suspect that the time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is why we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Nicholas will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogon and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do in the guild is important too. Let's make sure to keep up our good work. Y yes Now let's find the time gears, everyone. Yunta! Not happening. The northern desert is not only wide and deep, but is raked by vicious sandstorms. Please, do take care. Will do, thank you. Trapinch, let's do our best. Ugh, if we're going to a desert, I kinda wish I was a Trapinch, because then I wouldn't be buffered by sandstorms, or buffeted, how they pronounce it in the core games. Um, well, since we know where we're going now, I don't know, so we can still get ready, but then we came back, heard where we're going, and can then get ready again. So I can now all... Odd choice on the way to do it, but oh well. Because I'm thinking if we go to a desert, um, actually it'll be quite good. Beedrill, oof, I don't know, because that poison type will really hinder you if you get hit by a ground type move. Polywag would be pretty good, Smiles would be pretty good, but they're low level. Uh, you know what, we'll go with the team. The boys, or the boys and the girls. Or the boys and the girl, I should say. Anywho, uh, not a, not a bother. Bother. It's very posh, sophisticated. I guess we'll just head straight off to the northern desert. What do you two have to say? The three of us, Bidoof, Dugtrio, and I, were supposed to go to Crystal Cave. While we weren't paying attention, Dugtrio went off somewhere by himself. Where has he gotten to? We'll leave when Dugtrio decides to join us. Hmm, Dugtrio's run off, eh? Um, have you all happened to see Dugtrio anywhere? He just says the uh, same thing as the Florida's. I speak way too quickly. But I have a good idea where Doug Trio is. I like how my computer cannot handle a DS game, so it lags when it goes through the scenes. Oh, look who it is! Oh, see. Hear us. We must postpone our journey. We must participate in the capture of Grovile. We will. We will capture Grovile without fail. Though it is frightening, we will do our best. We need encouragement over C. I don't know what it is about these Mystery Dungeon games with the Trios worshipping the sea. In Red and Blue slash DX, Doug Trio loves the sea. In this one, Doug Trio loves the sea. I don't know much about the ones after this. Was it um, Gale of Darkness? Um, not Gale of Darkness. That's, that, that, that's the GameCube um, stadium game, isn't it? The ones after this, um, Super Mystery Dungeon and the one before that where you, uh, I don't know, did stuff. I, I haven't played them in ages, so I don't know if Doug, if Doug Trio's like the sea in that one. But it's a theme in these two. Anywho, <laughs> enough stalling, let's head right to the adventure. At Mount Horn, no. The uh, Northern Desert, I mean, we could do some other stuff to get stronger, but 
we'll, we'll see how tough the northern desert really is. And I'm hoping if we're lucky, um, we might find like a special friend there somewhere. Also, if my microphone hums, I'm sorry. Some is glitching out sometimes. I make this weird, like, low pitched hum. And I don't know why it comes on and off. So, if you hear it, I'm very sorry. I can't really much about it. Besides, try and edit it out, but it is difficult because sometimes my voice goes low enough to be on the same wavelength as the low pitched humming. Which is weird. <laughs> Anywho, the northern desert is through here. If the time gear really is here. Grove out and show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. Ah, coffee. Anyway, Northern Desert. 1F. Um, how, how do I play again? Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Alright, okay, we get a draw orb. Or, or drought orb in a desert. Like, bruh, we ain't gonna be needing to evaporate any water in a desert. Yeah, well, um, Sandstrom Beltoy. I just had a weird feeling in it. Oh, that is the wrong button. Um, what is, ah, I'm, it's been so long. And if I do that, and, ah, I've forgotten. How, how do I wait? There was a way to wait, but I've forgotten how. That's the message log. Oh my god. That's one way to do it. And that should be water gun. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Beedrill, you tried. You, you are you are definitely trying. You, you just gave up and just poison jabbed. I can understandable, really. I got to figure out the wait button, like the wait button combination. Oh god. Oh, Lavatar. Hello. Uh, water gun. I don't know what it is, but when the enemy uses Fury Attack, that was explosive. Yeah, when the enemy uses Fury Attack, they seem to land all five hits. When your team members use it, eh, two. Take it or leave it sort of thing. Um, how do I access my move menu? Okay. Um, I have no ranged attacks. Good to know. Oh, did not mean to do that, but oh well. It's literally been so long I've forgotten the buttons, and playing on an Xbox controller for a DS game is a very... interesting experience? Say at least, like, ugh. Okay, that's the map. Oh, that is also that. Okay. I know you guys have no idea what I'm doing, but it, to, to me it makes sense. To me it makes sense. You don't need to know the viewers at home watching. Uh, okay. I'm getting very good stale. I've already on 5F. Make that 6F. Oh, there's 9 up there, though. I want to see what that is. Oh, Lavatar and Aaron. I hope one of these guys can uh, join our team. Iron Defense, that one will help you against my special water move. Ooh, oh, ooh, and Aaron wants to join. I will like him. Um, nickname. We should give him a nickname, shouldn't we? Uh, oh, wait, I want to make sure I... Okay, cool. What should we call this Aaron? Let's call him Steely, because he's a steel type. And it'd be really funny if we ever get him into an Agron. A big boy called Steely. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Um, we'll get rid of the duo, because it's the weaker one. Oh, you definitely worth it, Steel is level 22. Um, nope, there we go. I'm having so much trouble with these controls, let's uh, have a look at, what, what IQ do you know? So you're an escapist of course, an item master, course checker, okay, not too bad there. Uh, fairly intelligent I guess. And a summary would be, so blah blah blah, I don't really care. Uh, so you have Sturdy and Rockhead. Both of them, that's good. And, um... Okay, cool, what moves do you know? Iron Defense, Raw, Mudstop, and Headbutt. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll keep all them, that's good. That's very good, actually. Oh, um... Before we move on... There is one thing I do want to check. Recruitment. Well, who is here? Sandshrew, Cubone, Lavatar, Aaron. Hello? Um, Trapinch? I believe we are going to find our 
ourselves a friend soon, ladies and gentlemen. And you bet your butts I'm gonna spend as long as I need to here to get my boy. My boy! Okay, I need to learn to wait. <sighs> Why is it to wait? It's Eleanor! Let's see if someone comes in a second. Eleanor, is this working? I have no idea. Hello, other Pokemon? Anyone? I want to find a trapping. Yeah, that does not work for Eleanor. Oh, B and A. Oh, that makes sense. B and A. I was pressing like Eleanor, like an idiot. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I should be yes. <gasps> He's here. No one touch him. I am knocking him out. Become my friend, please, Trapinch. Oh. <gasps> First one, yes! You are not getting a name. We are, sh as you know, you are getting a name. Because my turtle dials are called Trapinch. If there was a, tr and two Trapinch would be weird, I know exactly what to call you. It's very obvious, just blue. So you are a blue Trapinch. Oh, that's so stupid. Bleh, you bleh. No, where's the you? Um, sorry for peeking my microphone, I'm very excited. Uh, blue, um, <laughs> space. Did we just call you blue? Or you... Yeah, they call you blue. That should be fine. I was gonna call you blue trap and just then, but it's like, no, no, no. Just, just blue. Yes, blue is perfect. Ah. Um. Oh, who do I get rid of? Oh my god. Um. I like Steely. I like Beedrill. One of them's got to go though. Um. I think we'll go Beedrill for now. Because if I got rid of Steely, I wouldn't be able to get him back. So I think that's a smarter option. And also, I'm going to protect this boy with my life. Look at his face! Ah! I know I'm like fanboying over a trappage, but l l let me have my moment, please. In red and blue, you can't get one until like um, post game. Hmm. Which is stupid. So. Oh, wait, what do you say? Ain't that sweet? Um, I do want to check your moves though, real quick. No, it's items. So he does bite, sand attack, and faint attack. That's pretty good. Bite can flinch. Sand attack accuracy lowering is great. Um, faint attack. Are, are you? Oh shoot! No, I want to. You will never miss, aren't you? Yeah, never misses. That would be great as well. Okay. Um. Cool. I so wish this was like Pokemon DX. On Mr. Dungeon DX, where you could like switch the leader at any time. Like, I, I know it is in this game, it was like after the main story, you can switch the leaders around. In the newer game, you can just do that during the main story, which would be brilliant. I'd love to play as this boy, but for now, I'll, I'll accept him as being in the party. And now let's just speed run this desert because I want my boy to survive. Well, I don't, I don't give a damn about Pikachu. Even though if he faints, we all die, because that makes sense. I don't really give too much of a damn about Steely. Wow, that must be sturdy to kick it in. Strong. I just want my boy right there to live. Please. He's coming on every adventure. I have a bias. Yes, sue me. Why did I pick up that grimy food? Also, sandstorms are so annoying. Oh, actually, that reminds me, while we're walking through the desert, um, I might as well say, Minecraft Steve is in Smash Brothers, which, <laughs> um, to give, okay, can I hit that cat near, Jesus, which, um, oh, sorry, hey, Viva, to give my opinion on Minecraft Steve and Smash, um, I never thought that would happen, that is stupid, incredible, I mean, I am for this, don't get me wrong, I'm not one of these people who are hating on Minecraft Steve, which, if you hate on Minecraft Steve, leave, um, no one likes you. I will say it, I will fight you on it, no one likes you. Because it, I've played him a bit, I got him into Elite Smash, um, which was funny. Because everyone else was playing him, so it was just, it was just potluck, honestly. Um, oh, no, don't do that. But yeah, honestly, seeing him, the trailer was brilliant, honestly. Seeing him just like, flying through the wall after Sonic, I don't know, super punched him through dimensions? 
another one of Sonic's weird powers, apparently. But yeah, super happy. He's really... He, he's quirky? <laughs> like, his moves? If you don't care about Smash, I'm sorry, like, you're probably... I mean, you won't care what I'm saying right now, but... If you're watching Pokemon, you probably like Smash Bros. to some extent. But his moves are, are, are quirky, they're, they're very awkward. Oh, god damn it. Why'd I do that again? Okay, let's just proceed. But yeah, I mean, that, his up smash is so strange. That the magma block thing? Like, what? He just places a block above him and hits it? It's cool, it's broken, if, like, done correctly. I say it's broken, like, it's, it's powerful, it's very powerful, if done correctly. Um, one thing that is so annoying, because, um, his recovery with the elytra... I didn't play Smash Bros. Brawl that much, so I wasn't used to the glider mechanics of Charizard and Meta Knight. So for it to be with Steve and his recovery, it is so... I don't understand it, and I just keep SDing with him. And by the way, if, if you're curious, I, I go Enderman, okay? I'm an Enderman main. Do with that information what you will. But yeah, overall opinion, Minecraft Steve and Smash, good. It's funny, I didn't expect it. What does this mean for the rest of the roster? Who else can join? Because if Steve can join, I mean, I think anyone has a chance now. Like, it's, it's incredible. Okay, can we please knock out this little... Okay, I'm out of moves. Uh, Ice Fang. Oh, no, no. Ice Fang. Yeah, very happy about it all. And, well, I know I've made a Bowser montage in the past, which was less of a montage and more of just his matches with music in the background. <laughs> But, I don't know, that was fun. I might, will I make one with Steve? Maybe. I actually want to make another Smash Brothers video. Because that's, it's fun when I'm not angry at online Nesses. Simple as. But yeah, anyway. Enough about a completely different game. Oh, the Sandstorm is gone, thank god. Um, let's just do that. And Aerial Ace. Ooh, brilliant. Oh, <sighs> yeah. I don't know what to say now while we go for this dungeon. If I can't think of anything to say, I'll just skip ahead and play some music until something eventful happens. Another boy! Could we get two? Would I want to? I mean, what? A team of nothing but trap inches does sound amazing. Also, Pikachu leveled up. What is he, level 26 now? Oh, I'm liking the stat ups. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, mine, 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 and mine? Ah, oh, I was hoping. But yeah, some, I actually did want to say something uh, real quick. The other day, in my personal life, uh, knock out another one of my beautiful boys. No. Yeah. Ah, we got really lucky with that trap inch on our team. Yeah, the other day, um, for those who aren't aware, I don't know if I've ever said this, I, I trade... No, that's stupid to say. My job, part-time job thing is a lifeguard. Um, not all Baywatch and big booby women, sadly. It's quite boring. I mean, I've been able to work in ages because my sense has been closed due to, um... The, uh... The popular alcoholic beverage to avoid getting, you know, YouTube coming out me for saying it. I, th I believe you're not meant to say it, so I'm just covering my bases here. Yeah, so um, there's that. But we still have to undergo like a monthly training thing, and uh, yeah, it's very strange. And I'm going to continue the story in a second because my father is having TV troubles. Goddamn boomers. Apologies, I'll be right back. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Apparently we're having some internet trouble downstairs, and... Uh, my dad's blaming all sorts of nonsense. Uh, I don't know why, though. Internet. The internet's just been weird recently, but it's still working for me. Oh well, anyway. Where was I? Um... Ah yes, lifeguarding. Fun. Why am I talking about this, anyway? Uh, but yeah, we have to do this monthly training thing where you just sort of... It sort of just proves you're competent, you know? You do some basic tasks, uh, they just check your knowledge. <sighs> Time to run upstairs. 
I'm not even a fat bastard, Jesus. Yeah, just sort of making sure you know you know your stuff. You know, you're not gonna let someone die. Normally, um, when the world was normal, you'd have like maybe 10, 15 people in a group sort of doing your thing. Yesterday when I went, um, yesterday I was recording, of course, because this ain't gonna come out for like another month probably. <laughs> but yesterday when I went, um, normally with the restrictions, it would be like maybe five, six people would attend. Yesterday it was me and one other guy and the instructor. Which was so strange because it was less like a formal, um, like a formal test. It's not like a test or anything, but like it was less like a formal meeting and more of like a casual chat with the occasional bits of a lifeguard sprinkled in there. It was very strange. And we also have to get in the pool and do like tests in there. And I've got to take my towel, so I came home very wet. It was not fun. But yeah, that was little story time I had to tell about my own personal life recently. Do say in the comments anyone who may for some reason be watching this absolute mess of a series. Any fun stories in your lives, I'm sure. I don't know, maybe one person will comment, who knows. But yeah, um, if that's everything I have to say, I will continue speeding up, unless this is the final floor. Probably not. This oh! <laughs> oh my god, talk about calling it. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out, it's quicksand! The sand's getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools and we'll be pulled down if we get close. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh. What's the matter, Trapinch? Hmm. This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Maybe I've only heard of this place. But it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I, I do know this place. Listen, Trapinch! What's the matter? You're off in your own thoughts there. Well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure my microphone just started, like, buzzing out like crazy. So, uh, I also just been tapping that. That's why I'm making a lot of noise. Yeah, I could see it, like, it just looked like it was making a noise, and I'm sorry if that was a very annoying buzz. I have no idea what is causing that, so I do apologize. Maybe I've got, like, a faulty wire or something, but... Strange. Anyway. What?! So, everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything?! Disappointing. That's what happened, alright? Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest just like we were told, but hey, there's nothing really there but the forest. As for the crystal cave, yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help help myself to a crystal. Oh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time, I never noticed. Be oof. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. But you had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. Who do you think you are? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. That's not our sir, how did you get to say it? Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Ah, uh, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. My goodness, no! You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was only thanks to your vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, just now. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure, that is a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan, we'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. 
Yes, let's do that, and may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Nope. Yeah, sorry about whatever that noise just was. I just touched my mic stand and it went... I'd assume it just made a big burr. I don't know what it was. Oh, yep, that looks like it's making bad noises. Why is it doing that? Ah, I'm touching metal, not even the wire. Just... Oh, I'm gonna have to try to edit that out as best. Like, oh my god, that's so weird. I can't, I can't hear it. I can just see it on my um, uh, the what's it called, the volume audio showing thing. Audio sliders out now. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so sorry about that. Ugh. Oh, also, I should mention, um, if it wasn't obvious, I am now doing all the voices and stuff for these people. Not this part right now, but that's common. Like, any, like, new dialogue stuff, I'll tend to do in post. So, I'll, like, um, because, you know, if, like, how do I say this properly? Ugh, I can't speak today. That's true. You can't speak today, you idiot. Um, yeah, if, like, the voices are not better. The terrible end of story. Shut up, me. But I'm reading it better, because I know before when I was reading them live, I'd be like, have lived a little less, something all over my words, and it sounded terrible. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. But now if it actually sounds like I'm saying it properly, it's because I'm doing it all in post, which has more work, but I'm not too bothered. Like this. Listen, I'll be in post. Hello, future me. Hello, you bumbling idiot past me. Ahem. <clears throat> and that's what brings us back to today. Presently, the great Dustnor and I are working out a new strategy. While we developed this strategy, we ask you to search for the time years on your own initiative. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today. We're supposed to search in our own today, Trepinch. Where should we go? Hmm, I wonder. Personally, I think we should go back to that desert, because something was fishy there. We can search all we want, but we didn't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday, when we were out there... This feeling... It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Yes, that's right. Yesterday, at the quicksand pits, we assumed that was a dead end for our search, but maybe there really was secrets there. What was the matter? Are you off in another daydream? What? You want to go back to the quicksand desert? But well, we were there yesterday, we didn't find anything. What? When we were at the quicksand desert? You experienced the same sensation you had at Fogbound Lake? Well then that's settled, Trapinch. What you say must be true. Let's go there again, back to the quicksand desert. Well, I suppose we'll do that next time. Uh, this video may be long, it may be short, I don't know, because I've had many interruptions and many technical issues. This video might be absolute trash, and... Oh my god, this video is so long, what the hell. I do apologise, but every video I do usually has about seven things going wrong at any one given time. That's just how it is when you're not a professional YouTuber. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why do I say the thing as a but? Blah, 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 blah. Intro to myself. We have a trap inch. And that is the most important thing, and he is with us, he has not been knocked out, he will join us for all of eternity, he is beautiful, look at his adorable face. Also, side note, if you follow my Instagram, you'll notice that I have recently bought myself a Trappage blush. It is here right in front of me, it is cursed, it is weird teeth, and its head is misshapen, but it's amazing because it's a Trappage blush. So yeah, follow my Instagram to see that, it's amazing, um, I'm shaking my microphone with how ecstatic I am. Uh, anything else I need to say before we end this episode? I don't believe so. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if it's been an absolute train wreck, but um, but why are you at this episode? And if you don't already know that, like, honestly, who who starts an episode, what, 23? I think. Every other episode's been a train wreck, so same as this one. Anyway, enough stalling. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, yada yada. Share it with your friends. Make me popular, please. It's, it, it would never happen, but oh well. 
um, yeah, um, see you all next time. Hopefully it won't be months away. Bye-bye.